Well, hello, hello, my sweet dolls. This is Candy Doll, and I am back again with another unboxing. And I'm so happy what did I happen to catch on Amazon again? <laughs> I got the Naomi Osaka Barbie. Yes, I did. Oh my God, so happy I caught her Barbie signature, as it says there because she is a famous, I guess you can say up and coming. I really don't, I really honestly didn't know anything about her, heard of her up until, I don't know, maybe late last year or something like that. So I was like, oh, this girl is black and Japanese. What? She's exotic. She's cute. She's a tennis player and she is top notch. Okay. I don't follow tennis, but hey, if they're going to make a cool doll, a cute, pretty cool doll out of an exotic girl, you know I best to get it. So as soon as I heard that she was available on Amazon, you know, you have to be quick. Can I snap? <laughs> this is my bad hand and I can snap better with my left, but I'm left-handed. Anyway, so yeah, as soon as I heard, you know you gotta be quick on the ball with these new dolls and stuff coming out. Cause things sell out really fast, like the Barbie signature, which I still have yet to have gotten. Oh. Uh, yeah. I was one of the ones who were able to snag her quick on Amazon. I think she was $29. I don't remember. Maybe $29.99 or something like that. Anyway, I got her. I got her pretty quick, fast. Can't wait to unbox her, but look at how she is. Here's the box. Oh, sorry. Before I get into that, I just want to thank you all for being here and being a part of my sweet Dolly little world, my little Dolly family. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so very much for being here and rocking with all of us in our sweet little Candyland, little Dolly universe, world, our whole thing. So, if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to this channel, thumbs up this video, turn your notification bells on whenever you, so that you'll know whenever I upload a sweet video. And don't forget to visit, visit my Instagram, Candy Dolls. I will leave a link down below for that. If you'd like to get in touch with me uh, or something, you want to send me something, whatever the case may be, I will leave a link down below for my email address. And also, while you're at it, you can check out my other channel, The Candy Girl, where I just unbox all kind of stuff and talk about all kind of things. And, you know, Dollar Tree and all this stuff. You know, Dollar Tree's got some Barbie stuff too. <laughs> so in any case don't forget to subscribe this is an adult doll collector's channel 18 and over please because you know sometimes i might say a little something or curse a little bit you know anyway so yes have some fun over here watch me unbox cool toys like her so here she goes this is the box it's a nice simple box the background is supposed to be like i guess like a tennis court or something of this some nature you know, sorry for the glare. It's not the best lighting I have here. Maybe on this side, I show you like that. So yeah, there she goes, looking all cute. She does look a lot like, you know, the real Naomi. So yeah, <laughs> there she is in the box. And here is the back. Oh, it says Osaka on the back. And Naomi on the side, both sides. So that's like a pinkish purple look. Here is the back with her info. I don't know how old she is. It says, don't compare yourself to anyone because the path that you are on is your own, yours and yours only. That's right, girl. Trained by her father in early age, Naomi Osaka began her professional tennis career in 2013. Okay. Oh, so if y'all saw the Olympics, y'all saw how she was the one who lit the, the, the torch thingy, whatever. That was really cool. It was really, really cool. She looked so cute. Um, skipping over by 2016, Osaka was known, no voted, voted newcomer of the year, qualifying to play in major tennis tournaments around the world and compete for a first world title in 2018. See, I knew nothing, nothing of this girl until like late last year. Uh, she slammed into the history books, becoming the first Japanese player. Okay. So she is Japanese and black. Um, her mother, which one is Japanese? I think her mom's Japanese and her father is some sort of black. I forgot. Sorry about that. <laughs> but black, yeah. They, you know, I tend to call her a black girl. No, she's half Japanese. That's just, you know, whatever. See, I'm half black and half Puerto Rican. I call myself black. But, you know, I don't discredit the Puerto Rican side of me. But, yeah. But they call her Japanese. So, it is what it is. I still call her a black girl. 
no hate here. I'm just saying like how, you know, I do, how I say things. Um, but yes, of course she is Japanese still. Osaka returned in 2019 to win another major title, propelling her rank as the number one tennis player in the world. On and off the court, Naomi has used her voice and her platform to speak out and highlight issues surrounding human rights and racial injustice. Cool and confident, Naomi Osaka is a powerful athlete and champion for change. Girls need more role models like Naomi because imagining they can be anything is just the beginning. Actually seeing they can, they can that they can makes all the difference. And there she is. All her info right there on the back of the box, which I am probably going to destroy. <laughs> So she does look very exotic. She does look like what she is. I love her skin color. She's, you know, kind of like a medium skin toned girl. Yeah, and so she does look black and Japanese. Let's open the box, shall we? I'll try not to mess it up. But hey, I am opening her because I ain't gonna take her out of the box. You know, if you wanna buy her, it's just, I guess she's kind of sold out now on Amazon. Maybe I got the last one. <laughs> And there's the pretty box. I like the hot pink writing on the box. There she is, Miss Naomi. Let's see. There is her certificate right here. There's that with her stand is in there. I'm so tired of the black stands though. I wish we can get like clear stands or like, I mean, you know, for the Barbies. So I got Miss Osaka off her cardboard, out of her cardboard prison. Her hair is so awesome, a lot of curls. Loving the color, This it's soft too, it's nice and soft. I don't know how the rooting is. I was trying to understand what is the style that she has. Okay, so she's out of her plastic prison. I hate when I get interruptions when I'm filming, but you know, y'all know how it is. She's definitely very made to move. She's got a really cute little outfit on. So here's her sneakers, I guess with the Nike logo, this um, like a teal color. There's that, They're very flexible feet. Let's take the sneakers off, shall we, to see the feet sees little flat feet. So it's got flat feet, okay. Let's go to her outfit, little cute outfit. There goes that Nike logo or whatever. The back is like that and it's Velcro. We're gonna take that off, of course. The overskirt, of course, is attached. It's white and it's like short. So oh, I wish this wasn't attached. I mean, maybe I'll cut it off or something. I don't know. I actually like the outfit for like something, whatever else. But we're going to take that off because y'all know how I like to take the cl doll's clothes off. Okay. I'm going to take this off. So it's like a, like a romper with a skirt attached yeah okay i was trying to take the outfit off it was a little hard and i didn't want to like make you know struggle here because i'm on limited time but anyway um there goes the back she got no butt <laughs> but it's this little like romper shorts thingy there and there goes the front i like it i like it as just like a regular outfit you know for her but i really would like to take the skirt off i don't really care for that but I do like the short thingy underneath it so that's that but it's still cute now her hair she has that little visor thing on top let's just try to take that off oh we got it with that logo again she has little little dot earrings in there I don't know if they come out or not I'm just gonna leave it and she has some strings in it because she was kind of I'm going to have to pull that out later. But her hair is in a high ponytail, which is cute. It's like a, the color is like a blondish, brownish, and with some dark brown mix in it. I love it. The hair is very curly. I just want to know what it looks like without the ponytail. But, you know, let me try to take the ponytail out. Wow, look at these wild curls. So, yeah. Um, so let's see how the rooting is being that it was in a ponytail and I do love a high ponytail But when you got a lot of cool nice curls like this you got to see what's going on inside the doll's head Because a lot of times like Mattel tends to get a little cheap if they have like a ponytail on the doll They, they tend to skimp in the middle but I Think she's rooted pretty decent the scalp is dark 
So yeah, she's really pretty good. She's got a good amount of hair. I will obviously wash it, but not boil wash or anything like that because I intend to keep her hair curly like that unless I get bored and I want to straighten it for whatever reason, but I don't want to straighten it. But look at all this hair. Nice, nice, nice. So very cool, very pretty. There's her face. She's looking like the real Naomi. A lot of times these dolls don't look exactly like the celebrity. She even has like beauty marks on her face like Naomi has, if y'all can see that. So yeah, very pretty. I'm loving her skin color, very, really nice skin color. She's got the slanted eyes. As you know, she's black and Japanese, girl. Black and ease, is that what you call it? <laughs> so there she is, my, oh, and let me show you her articulation, of course. She is very made to move, the elbows. Wait, the elbow, what, doesn't fold more than that? I don't know. Anyway, but wrist articulation. Let's see, okay, chest articulation. The knees go back all the way and ankle so yay now for whatever reason if you didn't want to keep her face you could do what you want with the body but i intend to keep her face and her body just the way it is because i'm loving this doll it's too, oh and like the top of the arm too because she is a tennis doll and let me show you her little tennis racket and her little ball there's a cute little tennis racket and the ball was somehow attached to it like that but i don't really care about that all right, guys, that is everything for Miss Osaka. I don't know if I'm going to leave her in her little outfit here because, you know, it's still summertime. So to me, this could just be her little outfit. And I probably will leave it in that. Or cut the thingy off. I don't really know. In any case, oh, it's kind of like double-sided tape there. Oh, okay. That's cool whatever <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching my review and unboxing of the brand new miss naomi osaka barbie oh she has like a little i guess like a little wristband sweatband thingy right there i gotta take the rubber band off thank you so much for watching guys take care stay sweet and keep dolling say bye bye <laughs>